Trying to record in some horrendous wind, so sorry if the audio is bad. I'm up doing the next steps on the house build. It's been a little slow because I've had I've been spending some time in Pennsylvania. My dad has cancer, so I'm a little bit behind on projects up here, understandably. But the next step in building our house is getting the road the driveway approved it's been in here since the 70s but the county doesn't have any record of it so i'm having to have it inspected and i got to stake the whole driveway so i got some ribbon and i got some rebar because i can't use a wood stake unfortunately the ground is too hard especially here it's like concrete so i'm using some steel rebar to put in the the stakes uh, to mark the whole thousand some feet of driveway so that's what I'm up to now uh, it's Memorial Day weekend so I'm taking some time my family's up here and just trying to get some work done for the next step hopefully I can get an inspector out here in the next week or two to get the driveway inspected I already have the building plans I have um, and the survey done so I have a plot plan those are the things that were required uh, I already have the septic and well because the previous owners had put that in so now it's just going through the steps to you know get to the build process and this part is just the driveway so everything's taking a long time so I gotta work with the county get permits get inspections and you know here we are so this is just the update and I'll take you along for the ride it's another day the last time I tried to record it was just so windy. But just as an update, uh, today's inspection day. So the last time I was here, um, I was setting, I had basically for, to get the building permit, I need a driveway permit. The septic and well are already in, I mentioned that, and the driveway permit is required and I had to have it staked out. I also had to put in a, a big sign at the end of my driveway with my address. And then they also required me to print a plot plan. So the surveyor um, gave me the plot plan and I just went to Staples and had to print it out by 24 inches by 36. And that needs to be on site for the inspector when he arrives. And I also had to stake out the driveway. So over here you can see I put in some uh, rebar, all that's done here. And then it runs up and around. There's obviously some damage to the road from winter. Um, really needs to be redone but first things first is I need a permit and I need a legal driveway in order to do the building permit so this is just one another step in the process so here I am and most of the day I'm going to be here because I'm not sure when the inspector will actually arrive and I don't know if it'll pass or fail because this is like registering an existing driveway but they don't really have a record of the driveway in the county even though it's been here for a lot of years this property the previous owners were the original owners since the 1970s and they had the driveway put in but apparently there's no record of it so here i am just waiting for that to get done um, but it is it's more calm today there's no wind sun's rising it's a beautiful day so the other thing that happened was i put my outdoor shower on probably a week too early and it froze not completely but it's enough that it wasn't working right so that was a nightmare and that was on that windy day i ended up replacing the pump thinking it was the pump and it wasn't turned out it was uh the actual camp lux camp shower unit itself while water was flowing something was blocking it something was going on and ultimately ended up replacing it and then the other thing I did um, which I wish I would have took you with was I put a, a 30 amp plug a generator plug basically on my well um, so I can bring up water and not have to go all the way out to the cistern which is a mile away to get water um, and that was <laughs> That was fun because uh, inside the one control box, um, something fell off and it wasn't working. But I was sitting there troubleshooting everything. I thought my generator or something was wrong with my generator. The breaker was fine. I'm using my voltmeter. The voltmeter was coming up as like, it, I didn't realize it, but my voltmeter defaults to DC when I first turn it on. And I needed to measure AC and I wasn't paying attention. So here I was thinking there was something wrong with the generator and my wiring and 
it was something really basic but it ended up taking me a couple hours to finally troubleshoot that and ultimately the problem was there was an issue in the control box the one of the wires came loose and that's why the pump wasn't turning on so i ended up spending way too much time that day a on the shower replacing that pump and then kind of like the nightmare that i had to deal with on the on the well but all that's working now everything's good i'm just waiting for the inspector today i'm going to replace the camp shower um for the outdoor shower and and that's it and then i have some other work to do around um around our around our fire pit there was a lot of wood that um i brought in but didn't realize some of it was rotted so over here we have some some wood that i was going to split and use on our fire but it's all rotted so i gotta find another spot on the property to let it compost out because it really won't burn um we were out here uh with my son and some of his friends you know cleaning up they camped out um so it was it was a good time but i'm just trying to stay focused and keep on track even though life's just going crazy and then just reminded too i know i'm talking a lot here but um i live in a pretty big city colorado springs and um we had people trying to break into our cars uh on saturday night and um that was caught that on video i'll kind of show you a little clip of that here so it just reminded me how crazy this world's getting. I know the economy's crazy. Everything's so expensive. And I'm doing everything up here without debt. I don't want to borrow money to get... And that's another reason why I'm building this house so small. Yeah, it's only 500 square feet. But if you think about it, you know, even though I own this property, you know, I still have to pay taxes. And if I go and put a big house up here, um, it's, it's just going to cost me more in the long run in taxes so i don't know i'm just thinking about all that stuff and i have 30 acres i can build small buildings you know for storage and things as i need them but i'm just really trying to be as self-sufficient as possible whether it comes down to power or you know anything that i'm doing up here i really need to solve for food food has been the most expensive thing in my life in a household of 10 it's just really uh you know quite expensive so I am saving money, I am um, making progress, but it's just going slow. Um, and I can't just kind of jump shift. I, I, I earn too much money at work um, just to kind of stop that right now. I, it's not an angle I want to go. I do want to be here. I would like to homestead and, you know, be here off grid all the time, but it really has to be a process. And it's probably going to be over the next few years that I try to get out here more permanently. And the way things are going in the world and the economy, I don't know. I, I just don't want to be stuck so, sometime in my life living under a bridge because I didn't prepare. Um, and, you know, maybe maybe I'm just going too far with that. But, you know, I just kind of have a weird feeling that things aren't going so great. And it's been like that for years. And even though I feel like my job's secure, um, I just like having backup plans. And But I'm going to keep going no matter what um, and just keep keep on with my goals and ultimately it's to have an off-grid property um to be self-sufficient as best i can and just be away from you know the big city centers and you know there's just a lot more uh theft and you know crazy stuff going on and just feeling less safe so here we are that's what's up that's what i'm up to and um if anything else exciting happens i'll i'll be recording so here's the Camp Lux outdoor shower. It's on-demand propane. I had a different one um, for like the last couple of years and it worked great, but I set it out too early and I think it something inside froze, even though there wasn't a leak or there's an obstruction, something was going on, but this is what's inside. It does have a pump, um, a red tube to indicate the hot water, blue for cold, and the interesting thing is on the new ones, I didn't have this in the original one. This has like a cigarette lighter style thing and an on off switch, um, which is interesting for the 12 volt. And then it also has these um, clamps um, for another way to power it. 12 volt pump, they have some fittings. Everything's in there. Most of this I don't need because I, I'm just kind of swapping the unit out. 
So the good thing is I'll have some parts. And then we'll just throw it in there and get it back working again. And then I also diverted a line so that I have a sink outside just to wash my hands and stuff. But yeah, I just put in a valve, which I've shown before on previous videos. But in case you're new, yes, I have an outdoor shower. Camp Lux works great. All right, we're back in business. This is the new Camp Lux. I got black instead, same model. Replaced it, had a little trouble like the other one. I think there was some air. Basically, it took a little while to get primed. But we are back to hot showers again. So that's really cool. So I'm excited about that. This thing has been frustrating though when it works. It works really well. Just takes propane, water source, small 12 volt pump. And then I hooked up a, a sink and shower to it but yeah here you go it's it's working it's still a nice day out i'm not sure how much you guys want to see or don't see i don't want my content to be boring i'm just picking up logs that are rotted and won't burn very well and i'm putting them in my truck and i'm going to haul them to another spot in the property where they can compost and be out of sight out of mind since it's so dry here we don't get very much rain not a lot of moisture Stuff doesn't decompose very quickly, so these things will probably be here 100 years. I don't even know. So I'm going to tuck them away so I don't have to see them. They're not good for burning, and we'll just let them compost. I'll just start like a massive compost pile with all the tree debris. At some point, I'd like to get a chipper shredder for the smaller stuff, but for now, I'm just going to haul it out of sight, out of mind. I've gotten most of the pile gone. This is like probably the last run, but the good news is the, in, the inspector was here for the driveway and it's not like a final inspection it's just an inspection like for registration to get the permit they said I don't actually have the drive I don't have to have the driveway done until I'm done building and all that that can be like the final piece is the be ready for final inspection but I can't get a building permit until I have the driveway permit so my driveway permit is being issued today so that's good news um, once, once that's done, I can start looking at people who can do excavation uh, to dig and set the foundation. I got to do the building permit. It looks like it's a pretty lengthy process to get all the bits and pieces. I do have my building plans, but you know, I've never done this before. So I'm just kind of walking step by step through this stuff and figuring it out, reading all their stuff on their website and trial and error as I go. So that's the good news. My driveway permit is going to be issued. I don't have to do it till later, which is great. And uh, hopefully we can get started relatively soon. All right, take one. Another truckload empty. This is my dead wood graveyard. I just need somewhere to put rotted wood to at least start to clean this property up and have one spot for it. There we go. I guess the critters, ground squirrels and chipmunks and rabbits and stuff will enjoy this as it gets bigger. Well, that is one nag screen down. It's like seeing ads. In nag screens, the stuff that I have to do around this property, I just want to get it done. I see it, I want to get it done. Like this, this wood, scraps, nag screen. And there's so much stuff to do up here. <clears throat> like we had uh, reworked the fire pit, raked all the way around it. I recycled these benches. They were here on the property. so They were in working condition, no sense in getting rid of them. But like even just like the wood chips and stuff, there's some wood left over that we can use. But yeah, there's lots of nag screens on this property. It was in really bad condition when we got it, so it's still been quite a few years of working on it. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. I found this really cool rock formation. It was all like dirt and pine cones and pine needles. It was all kind of grown in and I cleared it out. That's rose granite. It just makes for like a really cool seat. Cleaned it up around here and then I got, oh, nag screen. Big stump I gotta get rid of. More stuff here, nag screen, big dead tree, nag screen, stuff all around. But I'm finally getting to a point where I'm getting to some quality of life, you know, projects. So finding this little spot to sit's nice. I have my bird feeders up. 
so I can just sit here and watch nature and chill and relax after working so hard and then right behind me these two trees I'm gonna see if I can't put a hammock up here and then clean up these other nag screens yeah, so here we go, just uh, some more updates, stuff I'm working on. This is the last building to demo. It has the stuff that was worth keeping, selling, donating, whatever. So this building will be demoed once I get rid of all this stuff. My wife's up here and uh, her mom. So we have a wash station over here. Instead of taking the stuff home dirty with mouse turds on it, we're just have a wash station using the well, the generator hookup, washing everything, drying everything. Now I can take all these stakes out of the driveway. So I'm just taking these out. I don't need them in anymore so yeah more some more nag screens but yeah this is this is a good kind of nag screen just glad to have that permit ready another thing i've been thinking about is the component system of off-grid and batteries and wires and charge controllers and i think for my small home i'm going to do one of those modular systems that like ecoflow or blue eddy or one of those type systems where it's all in one and then I can expand on it because then I really don't have to worry about a lot of all the pieces. I might be able to do something like this less expensive. We'll see what happens when I'm ready to do power in the house once I get to that point. But that's just what I've been thinking about because even for me to expand this system, I just don't have the room to do it here. I could do something modular, you know, throw something up in the shed pretty quickly. Yeah, it's more expensive, but you know, everything's baked in and it's something I don't have to worry about. And I can tie into, you know, a sub panel, a regular panel and be pretty much up and running pretty quickly. So I think that's the route I'm going to go. We'll see when the time comes, but that's the way I'm leaning, you know, as opposed to, you know, getting EG4 or, you know, any of those other systems that, you know, do it component wise. So that's what I've been thinking about power. Um, since there is no utility power out here and, uh, I need to be able to have generator backup. I'm also going to think about having a small wind turbine for the amount of wind that we get out here. That would be a good way to augment if it is cloudy. So yeah, this is definitely another nag screen. I hate how messy this is. And there's just so many components and pieces just everywhere. Yeah, those are the things that I struggle with. Well, that's a wrap for this video update. I just wanted to give you the scoop on the driveway and the building process the things that i'm having to go through to get that squared away so i guess the next step is just the building permit which is kind of involved i'm going to walk through that process and figure it out and then go from there i am doing this project uh, with cash i'm not borrowing money so as i get money and save it i'm going to do the next step you know once i get the building permit i got to get excavation in here uh, put the footing in get all that inspected as we go so hopefully after i get the foundation in um i'll be able to you know hopefully this year at least get it framed in um to get the shell done we'll see just depends on how things go so that's the update see you next time